tell you a story of some of the 14 worst days of history. Call him the fortnight of blood, if you will. This two-week period had several natural disasters, assassinations, massacres, terrorist attacks, school shootings, all kinds of tragedies happened in this two-week time throughout history. I first came to this conclusion after Googling after the Boston Marathon bombing on April 15th, 2013. And part of me, every time we get to this point of the year, I get a little nervous, a little tense, a little wondering what will happen this year. And now with... Um, now with... Shootings, multiple shootings uh, in Israel happening in, uh, happening in the last week uh, with QAnon and uh, the violent rhetoric coming out. I am afraid that something big and something bad is going to start this 14 week. And, and being afraid is, I'm not really, I'm not fearful, I'm not terrified, but I'm just, I'm like concerned that something's going to happen. And instead of making one big 10-minute uh, video, I'm going to break it up into themes. And the first theme is Jewish history. This period has not been good for Jewish, Jewish history. Going all the way back to April 14th, 70 AD, the siege of the city of Jerusalem. Uh, Titus, son of Vespasian, surrounded the capital with four Roman legions. By the time it was done, 15,000 to 20,000 people were either starved or slaughtered. And the Jewish religion lost the most holy site, the temple. Three years later, April 16, 73, Masada. 967 Jews, men, women, and children, hid from the Roman legions. But time was running out. So instead of surrendering themselves to the Romans, they killed themselves and murdered each other. 660 out of 667 people at Masada died. The only survivors, if you can call them that because they were captured by the Romans, were two women and five children. April 19, 1506, the Lisbon Massacre begins, in which accused Jews were being slaughtered by Portuguese Catholics. Again, this is also a bad time for zealous, zealously religious people attacking the Jews. A crowd of Catholics and foreign sailors were anchored in Tagus, outside of Lisbon. They Persecuted, tortured, killed, burnt at the stakes, hundreds of people who were accused of being Jews and consequently deemed guilty of deicide and heresy. I can't imagine that much death. Maybe I can, looking at seeing what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, April 19th, 1903, the Kishinev pogrom in Kishinev, uh, Bessarabia, which would now be in Moldova. What did good Catholic Christians do? Russian Christians do after Easter? Did they go home and pray, contemplate about he is risen, he is risen indeed? No. There were anti-Jewish riots. 49 Jews were killed. 92 were gravely injured, a number of Jewish women were raped, over 500 were lightly injured, and 1,500 homes were damaged. Having a mass migration from this area to America. Now we get into World War II. April 19th, 1943, the Warsaw Ghetto, ghetto Uprising, which seen a lot, which was basically the fall of Polish Jewry. 
And two things happened in 1945. April 20th, 20 children, 20 Jewish children using medical experiments at Nungami were killed in the basement of Belenhaza Dam School. These were children. And they were used as medical guinea pigs. On April 22, 1945, in the uh, waning days of World War II, prisoners at the Jasovanak concentration camp revolt. 520 are killed. Around 80 escape. And April 13th, and, uh, April 13th 1948. In an ambush, 78 Jewish doctors, nurses, and medical students from Hadassah Hospital were massacred by Arabs in Sheikh Jarrah. You can Google all these, you can Google all these things up. And part of me wonders, is there going to be something of import dealing, dealing with Israel? Um, maybe, maybe not. But I do find it interesting that all those events happened within a two-week period. 